All right, in this video, let's talk about the evidence of why Craig Wright is more likely than not Satoshi Nakamoto. Let's break this thing down. Credit to uh, Gavin Lee for writing an article on this, which I'll post in the link below. But ultimately, number one, Craig testified under oath that he's Satoshi. Number two, he won a court case for $1.1 million. That's the Kleinman Wright case over the bit, over Bitcoins that were mined by Satoshi. And the jury found there was no fraud on, against Craig Wright. He owns a copyright over the Bitcoin white, white paper and database. He won a UK judgment against Bitcoin.org to remove the Bitcoin white paper from his site. That was a default judgment. Five, he won a UK defamation suit against blogger Peter McCormick on all counts. Six, Gavin Andres is the closest person to Satoshi, said Craig Wright fits the person uh, personality of the person who, who is Satoshi and that he has also signed for him in front of Gavin Andreessen. And Gavin has not retracted that statement. That video is online. Seven, Neville Sinclair, a former BDO director, testified that Craig Wright personally presented a project to BDO for a new digital currency secured by crypto cryptography and nodes, which Sinclair believed laid the groundwork for Bitcoin. Number eight, Stefan Matthews, former chief information officer at Centibet, Centribet, testified that he had witnessed Craig Wright develop the technology and concepts that became the foundation of Bitcoin. Number nine, Robert Jenkins, a former colleague of Craig Wright, testified in the early 2000s that Wright demonstrated deep knowledge of online payments, e-gold, digital ledgers, and financial technology. That's court testimony under oath. Number 10, Shayub Yosef, Yosef, a former colleague of Craig Wright, testified under oath that Craig Wright's farm was more than more of a research lab than a farm where they tested new technologies related to Bitcoin. Number 11, Donald Lyman, Craig Wright's material uncle, testified that he had been granted early access to the Bitcoin white paper before its official release in 2008 and that he had heard Craig mention the pseudonym Satoshi Nakamoto. Lyman also revealed that Craig Wright's grandfather, Roland Lyman, had a significant influence over him and said that Wright cherished the Japanese uh, banknotes from, J from Japan, occupation from Philippines given, him, given to him by his grandfather. Number 12, Max Lyman, Craig Wright's cousin, later confirmed in a testimony that Craig had asked him and his father, Donald Lyman, to run Bitcoin's earliest node in their family farm in 2008. They then mined 6,500 Bitcoins together all during the time of around 2011. That's more court testimony. Number 13, all of, the close, all of Craig's closest family, mother, uncle, sister, wife, and ex-wife have all confirmed that he invented Bitcoin. Number 14, he had filed more Bitcoin and blockchain patents than any other living person. There's no question about that. That's on the record. He is, number 15, he's ranked as one of the most highly accredited digital forensic practitioners in the world and is reported to be the first Australian to receive SANS Global Award for Forensic, recognizing his exceptional achievements in, in digital forensics, which only a small amount of people in the handful, a handful of people in the world have. Number 16, he holds a master's degree in, and doctorate degrees in all topics related to Bitcoin. 17, he's conducted more than 1,200 engagements related to IT security for over 120 Australian and international private organizations in the private government sectors, including 15 Commonwealth states. 18, he's provided training and consultation services on digital forensics and cybersecurity to law enforcement agencies and police departments globally. Number 19, he serves, served as the vice president for Century, a strategic cyberspace and security science, collaborating with government bodies to secure cyber systems. 20, he holds high level industry certifications in the field of information technology and cybersecurity, such as a list of a bunch of them. 21, he has been a lecturer and researcher in, in computer science at, at Charles Stute University. 22, he has supports, he's a supporter of Bitcoin SV, which aims to fulfill his original vision for Bitcoin. BSV is designed to be, to be set in stone with no single entity in charge and no developer in control. It enables unbounded scaling on the base layer on-chain 
on-chain nano transactions and programmable smart contracts. 23, he was the first to explain why double hash and why 256K1, why 21 million coins, why hashing or validation Bitcoin scripts using one return bug and knew about Bitcoin's Turing completeness before anyone else. The 23 reasons why Craig Wright is more likely than not Satoshi and some of the things that will more likely than not come forward at the trial in January 2020, the biggest financial trial of our time, that's for sure. Hope to see you there in person. This is Gavin Meal. Like, comment, subscribe, and thank you to, to uh, Gavin Lee for posting this article on, on, on Medium. I'll post it below, and I will also uh, give a shout-out to Xiao Wei Lu. He was the one that directed me to this article from October 22nd. Why Craig Wright is so Shatoshi Nakamoto? The evidence sure stacks up, doesn't it? Like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you at the top.